Greetings, everybody. Welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. It's time to spend a little more time on one of my favorite topics, getting butt hurt. So as you know, one of the reasons why I love podcasting is because I just geek out on audio stuff, audio gear. One of the things I love is that these days, you can sculpt just about any tone that you want using specialized tools that shape sound. In the old days, those tools would have been specialized pieces of hardware. And those pieces of hardware, they can get a little expensive, especially if they got, you know, tubes or really high-end iron in it. But these days, they've got little bits of software that model or mimic the behavior of those hardware components. And they call them plugins. They're called plugins because just like any other plugin, it's something that you kind of drop into your recording software if you want it. And if you don't, you don't. So you get to choose from this palette of really cool tools. Anyway, there's this company that's been making yeah, decent tools, like fairly, the ones I use all the time to make this show. And they recently changed their business model a little bit. And the net net of that business model is that, you know, these things, they, they require a lot of research and development and investment to build. So when they first come out, they might cost a couple hundred bucks. But if you wait around until Black Friday or if you wait until... You know, there's kind of like a return on investment curve, I guess, for the people who make these things. So eventually the price drops. And it's not uncommon now for many of these plugins to cost 20, 30 bucks. Whereas when they first come out, they might cost one or 200 or more. So this company in the past year or so had been doing flash sales every day where one of their plugins would be available for a really, really great price. And they've changed their business model. So that effectively won't happen anymore. And the customers lost it. So despite the fact that the company's been giving great deals away for years now, they've released a new line, new series of uh, plugins, and it, the price reflects the research and development, and I guess the you know supply and the principles of supply and demand that govern anything that you make is that if you, we make something new and you want it and you want it right away, you're going to pay a price, a premium for it. But what erupted on the Facebook group is this big long diatribe with customers saying they felt slapped in the face, they're gonna leave the company, they're gonna to go to another company, and that somehow they were entitled to cheap plugins, which is utterly ridiculous. And then it, what made it worse is that anyone who came online and then said, well, actually, you know, these plugins are professional tools, they're worth money, and if you don't like it or you can't afford the new business model, then maybe it is time for you to go somewhere else. And that's not the, the manufacturer saying that, it's the fans of the product line. It's people like you and me who, realize that yeah we love a good deal but good tools are worth good money so we're prepared to pay a fair price for an excellent product and so when people would come out and say that you'd have the same people retort back and say you know i'm offended that you don't support my belief systems of cheap plugins for everybody so not only do these people want to protect and uphold their right to say whatever they want about whatever they like but they only want that right for themselves. The minute anyone comes into the discussion with a differing line of reasoning, they don't want you to say what you have to say. So it's a completely one-sided, nonsensical argument. So the, the net net is, I had to leave the group. I had to sh I had to shut it off. And it was a group I kind of enjoyed being in because I, you know, learned about new product releases and enjoyed the discussion sometimes on how to use them. But it's just it wasn't worth sitting around listening to people, literally whining about things that for the most part are inconsequential. I got to thinking about it and I realized how much of my day I spend dealing with or adjusting either my opinion or my tone to try and keep people from getting offended. Well, here's the reality. It doesn't matter what you do, what you say, or how you say it. Somebody somewhere is not going to like it. And what you can't do is get engaged in the flame wars that erupt after the thing has been said. It is a complete and utter total waste of time moreover there's a real negative consequence to it it just tends to get everybody's fur up doesn't it you ever been reading like a thread somewhere on the internet a comment thread or a facebook thread or whatever and you read something that really gets under your skin and the first thing you do is warm up your fingers and start typing up an intellectual response well at the end of the day the truth is these folks have already got their minds made up they've already got their belief systems and yeah, I suppose one out of every 10 times you might be able to change somebody's mind or influence someone to take a softer stance or to be more open to alternative perspectives. But I gotta ask you, is it worth it? Think about somebody you know who's tremendously successful at what they do. Somebody you really, really admire because of the impact they've made in the world. 
because of the success that they've managed to achieve, either with a product or with people, whatever the case may be. Do you think they spend a lot of time on Facebook bickering back and forth, arguing some point of fact, quoting statistics, expressing their outrage, threatening to leave the company or shut down their account? No. These are just the things that you learn as you become a more mature leader that you just have to avoid altogether. I'm at the point now where I don't really turn my television on anymore because I don't want those kind of perspectives permeating my life. As humans, we're extremely attracted to or magnetized by the negative. We just love to watch a good fight. You know, whether it's somebody losing their mind at the person at the counter at the Department of Motor Vehicles or whether it's a flame war on the internet, we just can't seem to take our eyes off this stuff. But guys, this is all artificial. It's junk. It doesn't matter. If you don't comment, if you even if you don't read this stuff, nothing changes in your world. Am I right? Successful people will know that if they need a good quality plug-in, there's a price tag associated with it and they can make a conscious reason choice as to whether it's worth it to them or not. Period. End of story. If you don't like the price tag, don't buy the product. That's cool. I mean, even the owner of this company was was reading the comments and he said, you know, I was expecting some blowback, but I wasn't expecting this. And I totally get it. Let me ask you a question. Do you think he should change his business model to support all of those people who want really great quality plugins for next to free? Do you think that should be his business model? I don't think we have the right to force him into that. I think that if he wants to create high quality tools with high end pricing to serve the high end market, that's his right. And the fact that somebody spent an hour composing this, you know, really well articulated sharp as iron logical argument with all the perfect zingers in it and then you know after much speculation and review and double checking finally hits the send button i don't even know if this guy reads all of them so i think that's my point for this week if you want to be badass you want to be a badass leader number one don't be one of those people who gets butt hurt you got to choose your battles super super carefully you only got so much time in a day i don't think you want to spend it arguing over discount codes on the internet And number two, if you're the target of all that righteous indignance, at a certain point, you got to let it go. you got to realize that this is just the way that people are these days. Everybody wants to be heard. Everyone wants things to go their way. And it's impossible for you to satisfy all of them. So stick with your direction. Know what your vision is. Remember what you're here to do. And don't let anybody throw you off the path by telling you that they feel slighted, or offended by your choices and the way you choose to conduct yourself. If you're operating from a place of true vision and service, you're already heading in the right direction. You have very little to worry about. Anyway, those are my thoughts for the week. Thank you guys for being true believers. I hope this helps you. You can check me out on Instagram at Badass Agile, on Twitter at Badass underscore Agile, or on the World Wide Web at BadassAgile.com. Thank you once again, and I'll see you next time.